Hi and welcome to this uh, GIMP tutorial. We're going to look at how to add rain to any image. Um, this is a pretty realistic effect if it's done right uh, and it's very very easy to do. Um, the basic steps before I get started just so that you know the direction we're moving in is that we add a new layer, add noise to that layer and then we get that noise layer and we add motion blur to it so that the noise ends up looking like drops of rain and given the motion blur it looks like it's falling down. So the, the way we do that, okay, we're going to start and first create a new layer, make it a black, just a black layer, so I'll choose the foreground color black, click OK. Here we go, um, we add some noise. I'm happy with that. Just um, play with the parameters. Get 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 a fair amount of rain in there if you can. Um, well, th these are the drops that are going to end up being rain. Uh, there that is, and I what I'll do I'll just repeat it again to add some thickness to it. So you just go to filters, click repeat. Okay, there we go. And now we want to uh, add some blur. So we go to Gaussian Blur, 6x6 six six Blur would be very, very sufficient. Click OK. And now, um, just so you can see what this looks like already, we go to Screen. Sorry, we go to Under Mode for, the, for this layer. You can choose the mode. It's not normal by default. Choose the Screen. And that, now it's looking almost like snow on there, but if we add Motion Blur, Motion blur under blur. We can say we want a length of 45 and an angle of 79. Click OK. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, and now you've got some fuzzy rain going on. It's going at a fairly um, it's, it's a fairly vertical angle there, which is okay. Um, you can add more of an angle to, to show more wind. Now, to make this rain look more apparent, what you can do, ensure the right layer is selected, then go to Levels, and move the three triangles towards the end of the bell curve. So, grab this one and move it to... Now, if you, if you move it outside of the bell, you will lose that detail entirely. So it needs to, at least the middle one, uh, sorry, you need it to at least have the, the darker triangle near the middle of the, of the entire bell curve. And then you can move these aside and it shows. See how it's looking more and more. Now, now that's terribly unrealistic. You want to keep it uh, somewhat faded or less intense. So you find your happy spot and then click OK. So that looks like you've got a bit of rain, but to make it look even more realistic, you can do one more layer with a slightly different angle of rain and slightly different intensity of rain. And that gives the a dynamic effect where you've got wind so that you've got rain and going in two different directions at different depths. And that, that is what happens uh, if you, when you take photos of rain, you've got r bits of rain going in a couple of directions. It's not, they're not all perfectly, perfectly uniform. So we'll add a new layer, we'll do the same process, the same steps. Filters, noise, HSV noise, create the same thing. I'm going to make this even thicker than the last one, so I'm going to repeat, and I'll repeat it again for a third time just to... Alright, and now we can add the blur. This time I'm going to do a little less blur, I'm going to go on 4. And... I'm going to screen this, so the mode of this layer is to screen, and now I can, um, we're not done yet, um, uh, we're now I'm going to, well firstly let's just clear it up a bit, so I'm going, I've, I went again to um, colors levels, and I'm just going to adjust that a little bit, so we're getting rid of a lot of the, a lot of those dots. The more I move this black 
triangle over to the right, the less of that rain we will have because we're getting rid of the data in, 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 the, in the center of the bell curve. So I'm going to keep a little bit of it like that. Okay, I like that. Okay, click OK. And now we add motion blur to that. Now if you remember, the first layer uh, of, of rain had some fairly vertical, so we're going to add a bit of angle to this. And what we do, we go to uh, blur, motion blur, and now we will choose a different angle. Uh, we will go for a more of an acute angle, or a 45 degree angle almost. Yeah, th that's pretty good. Um, and we're going to make the length of it probably a little bit shorter. Or should we make it longer actually because it's closer? Okay. See what that looks like. Okay, now you've got two bits of rain going in slightly different directions. And really, if I zoom in on that, it looks pretty realistic. I actually really like the way that has turned out. It looks like it's really wet. It looks like it's really raining. Um, you can do certain things to the back image, make it darker, um, gloomier. You can add more of a blue tint to it. You can. There's a lot of things you can do to make it look even more realistic. Uh, lower the contrast. That's always a good sign of fogginess or um, distant rain. But um, and what you can do with the top layer as well, if you want it to be a little bit more apparent, again you can play with the bell curve, and you can. And you can. You know, if you want. Now have a look at that. There's a lot of rain and a lot of movement going in on that. And you've got two angles of rain, which actually makes it look really good. So that's how you create rain in um, in in GIMP. Very very easy to do. You don't need to use any external images. It's just um, inbuilt functionality. I hope that was helpful. It's good to add to certain images and get get a dramatic effect. If you do use this um, this method, do let us know in the comment section. I'd love to see your work and what you've created out of it. Thanks for watching.